I think it's a, uh, you know, the, it's important to make sure the vaccines are available to those places that are actually using it. I, I had this issue and I fought uh, aggressively at the beginning of this pandemic when we know that the Detroit area was a, a hot spot right from uh, the beginning. Uh, I serve now as chair, I was ranking member at the time of the Homeland Security Committee, which oversees FEMA responsible for the distribution at that time of the personal protection equipment. Uh, and they had the similar kind of process. They, they were putting it out uh, equitably, equally across the, the country, which I understand. Uh, but at that time, we had a, a shortage of personal protection equipment, and yet we had surges in areas like Detroit area uh, that were critically short. Uh, and we worked aggressively to try to get some of that personal protection equipment into the hotspots. It's basically a triage situation. Make sure supplies are available to those in the greatest need, uh, and then you backfill other places. I think there's some way they can do that. And I've actually stressed this to the White House that I know there are a number of states uh, in terms of the vaccine uh, where their distribution has not been as aggressive uh, as uh, we have here in Michigan. And they're sitting on larger supplies of the vaccine. So that doesn't mean uh, that we play whack-a-mole. It means that uh, those areas where the vaccine is most needed, and if there are uh, more limited supplies, make sure they have the supplies necessary to get it into the arms of their population. And certainly those uh, states that may be uh, sitting on larger supplies, they can wait a week or two to, to get additional because uh, it's not going to put them in inner jeopardy. We don't want to put another state in jeopardy while we're taking care of Michigan. But I think there's a way to manage that in a way to make sure that those areas where they're seeing a surge, uh, that the vaccine gets out. But I, but I also want to reiterate, and I think probably I didn't hear the CDC uh, uh, briefing that you just had that just dealt with Johnson & Johnson, but the CDC has also put out a notice to realize vaccines do take a few weeks uh, to work. Once you get it in your arm, it's still a two plus week process before it really starts having an impact. And that means it's incumbent on each and every one of us individually. The way to stop the disease from spreading now is to wear a mask. It's to stay socially distanced. It's to wash your hands. It's to stay away from uh, groups uh, that may, may spread it. So we can take action now, and we must take action now while we continue to make sure the vaccine gets into as many arms as possible as quickly as possible.